Hey, I'm here to talk about labels. You know, those things on your stream that show your latest follower or latest subscriber. You know what I mean? Come with me. If you look into our elements gallery, you'll see that we have a lot of pre-made labels ready for you to use. Simply go to the elements gallery and type labels into the search bar. And there we have it. Many labels to choose from but I wanna show you how you can make your own labels very easily. Let's jump into the elements editor. Once we're in the editor, let's start from an empty element. I have removed all of the alerts from my left side already since we won't be needing them to create our labels. Start by clicking on the background button. Now we just have to add elements to create our labels. Click on add element and then choose image. We have a lot of pre-made label assets, so we're just gonna use one of those for now, but you can always upload your own artwork. We're going to position it where we want it and then adjust its size. Next, it's time to add our text element. Click on add element and choose text. Now I'm going to write the label title like latest follow and then type in slash. This will allow us to access all the available data points to create our label with. I'm going to choose follow and then latest follower. Once that is done, Customize it to your liking by changing the font, the size, and anything else you want. Let's do that once more, but this time for our latest subscriber label. Now that we have both labels up, let's hit save and then publish. Grab that URL and the dimensions and let's jump onto OBS Studio. Now that we're in OBS Studio, Let's add a new browser source. Paste in the URL we got and the dimensions. Now just position it where you want it on screen and you're done. Thanks for watching the video and I hope the information was useful. If you would like more videos like this to guide you through any aspect of the Elements Editor or the Elements Gallery, just let us know in the replies below and we'll make it. And as always, don't forget to check out the Elements Gallery and the Elements Editor at widgets.streamelements.com. I'll see you on the next one.